good afternoon students already we have solved one problem uh, you can practice three four problems three four types of problems are there you understand you will get one derivation emf derivation what we have seen itself it gives 8 to 10 marks if our derivation not comes then problem these two are the backbones of this chapter that's why i started with emf equation and problems along with one induction motor attached you may get very easily 20 marks one more type of problem now you can enjoy total number of slots are available then problem is directly it is also asked in one of the question paper for 8 marks you enjoy this a three phase 16 fold alternator has a star connected winding with 144 slots and 10 conductors per slot the flux per pole is 0 0.03 webers and speed is 375 rpm find number one frequency number two phase emf number three line emf assume winding factor as 0 0.96 uh, you write down the given data number of poles 16 total number of slots 144 conductors per slot 10 flux per pole is given 0 0.03 webers all data are directly same problem it is asked number of times in v2 examination so f is not given f is not given we know that f equal to pn by 120 one equation remember frequency f equal to pn by 120 where p is number of poles n is speed of the generator in rpm so 16 into 375 divided by 120 we are going to get as 50 hertz then number two in this problem total number of slots are given 144 total number of slots are given 144 next step previous problem slots per pole is given now in this problem directly total slots are given you don't go for problems to problem it may change now in this problem particularly total stator slots are given 144 next you go for slots per phase slots per phase total slots divided by 3 48 after getting the slots per phase then you concentrate on conductors per phase stator conductors per phase equal to total slots per phase divided by total conductors per slot that is conductors in one slot that should be equal to 48 into 10 equal to 480 so once you are getting the conductors per phase then next step stator turns per phase t equal to z by 2 t equal to z by 2 we are going to get as 240 then again assuming the coils are full fixed kp equal to 1 kd is given kd is given 0.96 not given you can assume kd equal to 0.96 remember always then very easy next step you go for phase emf phase emf equal to 4.44 kp kd f phi t standard expression 4.44 kp kd f phi t you remember five things then substitute all the values ep equal to uh, 1534 volts next step we have to go for calculation of line emf always synchronous generators are star connected always these synchronous generators are star connected hence line voltage or line emf equal to root 3 times of phase voltage that should be line voltage equal to root 3 into 1534 we are going to get 2657 volts next problem is six pole three phase star connected alternator has an armature with 90 slots and eight conductors per slot revolves at 1000 rpm and the flux per pole is 0 0.05 webers calculate the emf generated if the winding factor is 0.97 and all conductors are in series uh, you write down the data one side 
then you go for frequency frequency f equal to again p n by 120 we are going to get 50 hertz indian standard itself is 50 hertz remember total stator slots directly given 90 total stator slots directly given 90 hence slots per phase total number of slots divided by number of phases total number of slots 90 number of phases 3 90 by 3 30 hence stator conductors per phase z stator conductors per phase should be equal to number of slots in one phase number of slots per phase number of conductors in one slot number of conductors in one slot 30 into 8 240 hence stator turns per phase t equal to z by 2 t equal to z by 2 242 by 2 120 we are going to get then assuming coils are again full pitched kp equal to 1 kd as 0.97 after that you can go directly phase amf we are knowing the phase amf equal to 4.44 kp kd f by t five things remember five fingers five datas 4.44 you substitute all the values we are going to get 1292 volts again the alternators or synchronous generators are star connected hence you go the line emf line emf equal to root 3 times face value so we are going to get 2237.35 volts this is also asked in one of the examination and many times of internal assessment for 8 marks next type of problem a three phase star connected alternator with 12 pole generates 1100 volts on open circuit at a speed of 500 rpm assuming 180 turns per phase a distribution factor 0.96 and full featured coils find the useful flux per pole find the useful flux per pole it is also asked another type of problem in video question paper for 8 marks you have to use that equation only all data are given you have to calculate flux phi equal to how much value you should calculate first you calculate frequency frequency f equal to p n by 120 we are going to get 50 hertz then given voltage given voltage is 1100 volts this is line voltage therefore given voltage is line voltage that is 1100 volts alternators are always star connected uh, given voltage is line voltage 1100 volts then you convert into phase voltage this expression expression one for phase emf ep means phase emf hence we have to substitute phase value hence you convert line value to phase value 1100 divided by root 3 635 volts uh, another data is also given stator turns per phase that is also given 180 then substitute all values in equation 1 that is ep equal to 4.44 kp kd f phi t you have to calculate flux per pole very careful substitution of ep value ep means phase emf in given line emf in problem given is line emf you have to convert that into phase emf that only very important it is asked number of times in examination for 8 8 marks 635 substitute all the values we are going to get the answer flux phi flux per pole phi equal to 0 0.01 fibers thank you